Alright, how's it going? Welcome to another video on the channel. Today we have the Premier League Game Week 12 predictions, and uh, this week is pretty tasty. There's about three, four, maybe five good fixtures lined up. I've come with a different approach with the things as well. I've gone with the team colours on like their kits, just because why not? I was bored. So I decided to do that. Before we get into this video, if you're new to the channel, then make sure you subscribe. Tomorrow we will have a Tottenham versus Sheffield United preview, um, and my prediction is pretty bold. So uh, you, you're going to want to hear that. We have Champions League predictions. Uh, the last ones went out over the weekend, just gone. Uh, the next ones will come out after the international break. We have Carabao Cup predictions for the next round coming up in December. And we do have FIFA 20 career mode. Um, I'm starting to get back on track with that. I'm aiming to film one. Let's get into this video. Uh, this is a graphic if you haven't seen it before. So the first game is Norwich versus Watford on Friday. As I said, Norwich at Carrow Road. Um, I think back to when they beat Man City. 3-2 I think it was. But Watford are actually picking up some form. They started off bad um, and then they drew 2-2 to Arsenal under Flores. Uh, but in recent weeks they've drew to us. Uh, they narrowly lost to Chelsea last week 2-1. Uh, the week before that they got a 0-0 draw at Bournemouth. Uh, this game, uh, I am going 1-0 Watford. I think Norwich's time is up, really. They had their big win against Man City. Um, and Watford are playing some good football at the moment, and I'm giving them all three points. Now, on Saturday, it is Chelsea versus Crystal Palace. Chelsea are firing. They, last night, they had that 4-4 draw against Ajax, which was a cracking game. Crystal Palace are doing quite well in the league. They did just lose at home to Leicester 2-0, but it's Leicester, they're firing as well. Um, I don't really expect much for Crystal Palace in this game. I am going with a 2-0 Chelsea win. Now Burnley versus West Ham. Um, this is a tricky game, I feel. West Ham are doing okay. They've just lost to Newcastle, though. Uh, Burnley, they, they're doing okay. They're having an average season like they do every season. Uh, but going to Turf Moor is tough, and I think it is going to be tough for West Ham. I am going with a 2-1 Burnley win. Now Newcastle versus Bournemouth. Newcastle are picking up, really. They've just had that 3-2 win at West Ham's ground, and Bournemouth, away from home, seem to be struggling. They did just beat Man United, though, um, on the weekend. This game, though, uh, I think at St. James's Park, I'm, I gave Newcastle the advantage. I did originally go with a Newcastle win but I am going with a one will draw for this game. Now Southampton versus Everton. Um, Everton's last game, uh, they salvaged a point against us. Um, Andre Gomez had that horror injury. Southampton at home, last time they was at home, they lost 9-0. Um, this game, I don't see that being the scoreline here. Uh, Everton away from home aren't really that good. So um, I'm gonna go with a Desmond 2-2 here. Now Tottenham versus Sheffield United. Um, I have gone with a bold scoreline, a controversial scoreline. Uh, I've said it before, I'm going to go down the middle with every game, even the Spurs ones as a Spurs fan. And this game, um, I'm going with a one all draw. If you want to hear an explanation, then check out the preview that comes out tomorrow. Um, yeah, one all draw in this game. Could be a shock to some of you. Now Leicester versus Arsenal. Um, Arsenal playing in the Europa League this week, but it's today on the Wednesday, so they can play on the Saturday uh, against the Leicester team, who are doing brilliant this year under Brendan Rodgers. Vardy's firing, Madison's firing, T. Lehmann's, Ndidi, Sonia Koo, the lot. Um, and Arsenal struggling. They aren't really picking up points. Last week they drew one all with Wolves. And yeah, I only see things getting worse for them, really. Um, I've gone with a 3-1 Leicester. Um, I wasn't really going to give Arsenal a goal, but I feel like in big games there's always goals. Um, so yeah, 3-1 to Leicester. Um, I hope it's 3-1 to Leicester because I'm counting on Jamie Vardy in my fancy team. Now on Super Sunday, not televised, it is Manchester United versus Brighton. Um, I've also gone for another bold scoreline. May United playing in the Europa League. Um, and they're sort of up and down. They've just lost to Bournemouth. Um, this game, I'm going with a one-all draw. I feel like Brighton can get something at Old Trafford. Old Trafford isn't the fortress that it used to be. Um, yeah, one all. And now the first of two tasty games that are being televised is the Midlands derby between Wolves and Aston Villa. We did see a Midlands derby a couple of weeks ago in the Carabao Cup, which Aston Villa won. But this is in a Premier League. Wolves coming off the back of the Europa League game against some team. I don't know who it is. I know it begins with an S. Um, 
it's a derby, so I'm going to go with the go-to. I'm going with a 2-2 draw. Uh, that should be a tasty game, but it's followed up by another tasty game. The two at the top of the league, a chance for Liverpool to go nine points clear in the Premier League, which is sort of needed considering their December schedule. Against a Man City team that's a bit shaky in defence, you could say. Um, I think this is going to be high scoring, and yeah, I have probably gone with a controversial score. In the video that me and Philip done ages ago, I said it would be 5-4 to City, and Philip said it would be 4-4 or something. They'll be on the screen. This week, I am predicting a 5-2 Liverpool win. Um, I did say 4-2 originally, but I feel like Liverpool can get through their Man City defence. Liverpool turn up in these games. Um, they turned up against us, being 1-0 down. 5-2 is a big scoreline, I know, and it probably won't happen, but it's what I think, really. 5-2, um, they rested a couple of key players in the Champions League last night. Man City played tonight away from home as well, so things sort of favour Liverpool, and they're going to want to get the goal difference up. Considering their December schedule, they're going to want to be nine points clear as well, because uh, they could drop a couple of points in December where Man City could gain on them. So, um, yeah, they're my predictions. Um, and that is going to be it for this video. If you did like it, then like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys later. Goodbye.